with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 624 this morning, one more cool day, one more day with comfortable levels of humidity. Now a little bit more humid than yesterday. Yesterday our average dew point temperatures were in the upper 40s. Today they're going to be in the upper 50s and that's actually not until this afternoon. I, right now our dew points are a little bit lower than that in the low 50s. So we're going to have comfortable humidity throughout the day but gradually the humidity is going to be increasing. It's going to increase more rapidly tonight once our winds shift to the southeast. And so get ready, it's back to very humid weather for tomorrow and Saturday. So let's relate this to the hair forecast. We get a good hair day today. One more good hair day. Not much wind today, comfortable humidity. But tomorrow, very humid and breezy. Yeah, forget about the hair. Put a hat on. <laughs> or uh, just stay inside. Tomorrow might be the day to skip the grocery store one if you want to look good doing it. And then we're going to have to say a bad hair day on Saturday, too, because it's still going to be very humid. The difference, though, between Saturday and Friday is there's not going to be much wind. The wind is going to die back down. So I think the worst hair day is tomorrow, but it's not going to be good on Saturday either. So all the more reason to enjoy today. Let's also talk about those outdoor chores that might need to be done, like mowing the grass or working in the garden. Today, the best day because it's going to be cool comfortable humidity. There's no chance of rain. It's not going to be as nice Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. We've got isolated showers and storms in the forecast Friday and Saturday. Now, not good rain chance. It's only a 20% chance during the day Friday and during the day Saturday. So yes, many will stay dry, but the chance is there. You don't want to mow the grass when there's wet grass. <laughs> so we'll say fair mowing conditions, fair outdoor weather conditions. And Sunday is going to be dry, but it is going to be very hot. We had to raise the temperature forecast on Sunday. It now looks like Sunday could hit 101 in the valley. Yeah, that's probably not what chilly weather fans wanted to hear. All the more reason, I keep stressing it, enjoy today. 79 degrees are high in the valley. 86 tomorrow, normal for this time of year, but back to above normal temperatures on Saturday. And really, Saturday looks cool compared to what's coming. Again, 101 on Sunday. I tell you what, it looks very similar to last Sunday. It looks like we could get a repeat. What's going to happen is a front is going to come in in the afternoon. So the humidity is going to drop. So it could be a situation like last Sunday where it's a dry heat, but it is going to feel very summer-like on Sunday. And we had to drop the rain chance on Sunday, too. I think a mostly cloudy start, but those skies are going to become mostly sunny in the afternoon. I think it's going to be mostly sunny Monday as well. And, yeah, it's not much of a front if we're still going to be in the low 90s on Monday. Actually, I think Tuesday could end up being a little bit cooler because we're going to start cooler. And I do think there's going to be a little bit more cloud cover on Tuesday. Still no chance of rain. Notice Sunday, Monday, Tuesday all dry. I'm going to bring back a 20% chance of showers for Wednesday morning. But look at that. It's right back to the upper 90s. So by far, what stands out in this seven-day forecast today? Upper 70s. This could be our last cool day, not just for the next week, but maybe of the season. All the more reason to embrace it. Gabby?